Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Onigashima Law, accompanied by his weird garbage man arm friend, Onigashima Kid, but we'll do him in a different video. He's just going to be here as a backup in case I need to dip into his trash juice power. Nothing like trash juice power. Trash powered anything is great, you know, reduce, reuse, and recycle, uh, as they say in the... Uh, those PSAs. Anywho, we're gonna be uh, probably tearing shit up with this unit. He's a very fucking awesome character. Um, he's not like super broken or overpowered like some of the characters. Like he's actually quite squishy. He's, you're able to kill him fairly easily, unlike uh, his Onigashima counterparts, um, which is fairly cool. It's you know, it's nice when they release a unit that's kind of balanced. Like he's really good, obviously, but again, he could be th his plans could be thwarted quite easily. So. Um, skill 1 is a uh, anti-heal, which is obviously one of the best things in this game. Uh, so many characters rely on their heal to be like super overpowered, such as Roger, for example, and that dirty fucking rat Usopp. And, uh, you know, we're going to be trying to hit these guys up with that move um, over and over again. So, um, I actually am running a, uh, what's it called, the Frankie medal on him, so if I get uh, those, you know, those critical hits... Um, from getting those perfect dodges, I'm going to be doing some crazy damage. As you can see here, this poor Zoro and this poor, um, fucking, uh, what's his name again? Shanks, the red-haired freak. I just call him a Cabbage Patch Kid. Cabbage Patch Kid uh, Shanks just got fucking sliced and diced. Skill 2, uh, really nice as well. If you pop that up, it actually stuns them. And then every hit that you do, or every sword swing that you do inside of that bubble... Um, you know, uh, can be hit anywhere in the bubble. So, like, the bubble is the, the range of your normal attacks, which is pretty damn awesome. And not to mention, every time you land an attack, your skill, uh, your damage gets higher and higher. Now, this poor uh, copycat law over here is just going to get completely diced up as well. I'm basically the slap chop guy. You're going to love my nuts. You remember he went to jail for beating up a prostitute or something of that nature? But, <laughs> I don't know, whatever he did, it was uh, not cool. So, they got the, the wiener trio over there on the, the treasure. I'm just kind of waiting for my opportunity to hit them with the anti-heal, which I did. Um, this Shanks actually hit me for some pretty massive damage. I actually end up getting off this uh, a perfect dodge, and my crits are going to just go wild right now. I'm going to chop up all of these dudes. An amazing thing about uh, being in his actual bubble uh, as well is um, you actually um, will survive with 1 HP. You don't get knocked down, and you're immune to stagger. So... That being inside your bubble is fucking insane. As you saw there, I just beat two Rogers and a Shanks by myself. I like to play this character kind of like a pussy, because he, again, he is a little bit squishy. He does heal with the skill one, but uh, watch this shit. This guy's made a huge mistake just trying to jump down here again. Uh, gonna catch him at the end of his uh, thing right there and chop him up some more. This guy hates my guts. He hasn't made it past this, this like, uh, plateau or this little cliff here this entire match. But, um... Yeah, man, he's a really good fucking character. He's super fun. I'm glad they made a law that's actually... Um, actually, no, the, the, the step-up law is really damn good, too. Still to this day, too. To this day! And uh, they, we got a dirty rat over there. And there's also a Zoro. I didn't know who to go for. And uh, I was just kind of like, oh, shit, they got team boost. He did get a nice little perfect dodge, but as did I. Um, I did hit him with the anti-heal, I believe. And... Um, I wanted to go over here and stop these goons, but they ended up, you know, just capturing the treasure, which is a little bit unfortunate. I did get stunned, however, by uh, this fucking dirty rat, and uh, finished off by the Roger. He just gave me the rear admiral, stuck his sword right in between my cheeks. And um, my team's going to secure the mid flag, and also they already have that other flag. They, whoever was over there was just holding it down like an absolute fucking manager. So uh, I believe that was Eustace Kid, the manager. Oh, that was me, actually. I am the fucking manager. Seven kills, buddy. Uh, you know, these guys don't know what's, what, what hit them. So, uh, basically, we're just going to be doing the same thing. There's a guy named Sweet Bitch over there. And I'm going to probably make him my Sweet Bitch. Um, as I like to do to, uh, you know, Z Zoro users of all types. Um, actually, I, you know, I respect a man who uses Wano Zoro. That guy's got some testicles on him. So, we're going to go over there and uh, basically do what we do. And, uh, you know, chop people up, as usual. I just realized Law's got some pants. They look like people fucking bought these pants from, like, fucking, uh, what is it, Hot Topic. <laughs> I don't know. This guy looks like he shops at Hot Topic for sure. Like, his whole wardrobe is from there. We're going to try to sneak in there uh, and get this little anti-heal off. 
Uh, we do have the Warlord's Tag, if I forgot to mention that before. So this is, these anti-heals are super long. Oh, and if you didn't notice right there, um, Law has a 5% chance of getting anti-heal um, based off of his normal attacks, which I actually did hit that, um, who was that, Shanks, Cabbage Patch Kid? Um, I actually had, um, you know, connecting with that 5% chance is really damn nice. We're in a, quite a pickle right now, so we're gonna get, uh, let Blackbeard over here. I tried to just hit him with it with that one time for the one time, and, uh, I did actually stun him a little bit there. I don't know, it was also with the Usopp, so that was kind of nice. Waiting for him to use this so I can get that anti-heal. Uh, I think he just did a perfect ballerina dodge, like, right out of my attack right there. And look at this, that one HP thing that I was talking about, beautiful. Uh, tried to get the, uh... You know, tried to get the, um, what's it called, perfect daughter there missed, but I ended up killing the Blackbeard anyway, so that was really nice. Um, we have an anti-heal on the way, so I'm just waiting for my moment to shine again. Hit this guy, I get 15% HP back with that, and uh, I actually managed to hit that Aokiji as well, but I believe the Oden knocked him out of his uh, anti-heal, because statuses do not override one another. Um, but we got a team boost, it's unfortunate that I'm dead right now, because I'd probably be going buck wild down there with my uh, scalpel, my operation knife, which is a big ass scalpel. Man, imagine if a nurse brought this out, you know, when you were getting your adult circumcision done. She brought out the big old sword. That would be pretty fucked up. So we're just gonna chill up here for a moment. And uh, you know, they do have team boost. So I was like, fuck, maybe I should go down there and help. They got Shanks over there trying to stop uh, stuff from happening. Give this Luffy the one time. And this Zoro actually ended up chopping me down, which was uh, pretty, pretty badass. Hit him with that uh, anti-heal on this Mihawk, though, because fuck this guy. I, I, this, this character is a character that eludes me. I have, like, one copy of him, but I want more. He's just a pretty damn cool unit overall, so... Um, we're gonna just wait uh, and try to kill this Zoro here. We got the anti-heal off. Trying to get all of these... Uh, oh, somebody said to get more combos. Um, so, you know, that's a that's a man I respect right there. Holding, putting out to get more combos. I waited for Blackbeard to... Um, What's it called? Try to pull me in so I could stun him with that attack because you can actually, you know, while he pulls you in, to, like generally you can use an attack to finish him off or like stop him. This is a big mistake on my part. I got greedy here. Got the Blackbeard. This fucking Shank killed me. I was I was heavily relying upon that rat having multiple lives. Why does Frankie look so tiny right now? Did anybody notice that? <laughs> is Frankie fucking small? Why did he look so that goddamn tiny? But anyways, I was heavily relying upon the rat having more than one life, but no, he didn't. Uh, unfortunate, but it's the name of the game, so... Um, yeah, I mean, we got we got fucked at the end right there by that sweet bitch, so... Um, 148%, here's my tags as usual, like pretty, pretty hefty. Uh, metal set I was running. Um, I put the Luffy Taro on there as well, just because... Uh, in case I wanted to go back there and fudge some defenders in their arsehole. So, uh, anyways, not really much more to say. Uh, I might be doing an Oni Kid next because I have been practicing with him a little bit. And he's just a monster in himself. So, hope you guys liked the video. You know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. And stay tuned for the next One Piece Bounty Rush video. See you then. Peace.